God says, why not, you wise men, why not research the Quran? Obviously, the Western world took up that invitation and researched the Quran. I know the fools right now among us are within my hearing range, the hearing range of my voice. They're saying, oh, that man is so far-fetched in his claims. I saw once men come out and stop the downtown traffic on a business day. They had to reroute the traffic on a business day. Look at here. They will, they will make an expressway. They will set times for the movement of traffic on that expressway, whether it goes north or south or slow or fast, or whether four lanes are used or two. They will do all of these things to favor the rich, the business people in the center of the city. They reroute. The traffic. If the business people who come and work there report that they don't like to stop in your neighborhood on your corner and wait for the light to change, which you stare at them, they will say, okay, we will fix it so you don't have to stop in their neighborhood. We will make an expressway. You won't even see them. Now they'll do all of these things the favor the rich, the money makers. Huh? But I saw the traffic rerouted on a business day because men wanted to parade. White men. They weren't black. Although there are some blacks that do this too. They wanted to parade their Moroccan looking hats and show off Crescents and the word Medina and Mecca and Allah, etc. And I remember as a youngster in these United States during World War II, uh, just immediately thereafter, seeing in the paper where Truman had greeted some people, Assalamu alaikum. The fact is that the Western society has for long been studying Quran, Islamic knowledge, Islamic history, and extracting from it for their own benefit. That's, right. That's, right. That's the fact. That's right. And they call it secret, secret order, secret order. That's a fact. And I heard when they really get up in the high degrees, they stop saying hello and goodbye. They say assalamu alaikum and wa alaikum assalam among themselves in privacy. That's what we are told. And that they stop reading the Bible and they start studying the Quran. That's what we are told. Then the black man come into the order, the secret order, and has to send way over to Europe to get in it. This is history. Am I right or wrong? This is history. Black people appeal to the white order, white order of the Shriners and Masons to get in and come into that secret order. They didn't accept them just like at first the church didn't accept them. So determined to get in, a black man as a spokesman for the rest of the blacks that wanted to get in the office, order, pardon me, he wrote to the order, the home base order in Europe and asked them to give him a charter to practice the same secret doctrine in these United States. And they granted the charter to him to practice that secret doctrine in these United States. Now you know if the white man right here living with him wouldn't let him come in 
but would accept that he get a charter from over there and be in his own thing. You know, if the white man that wouldn't let him in didn't wasn't disturbed by him getting a charter, that white man must have known that the charter didn't carry the same weight or offer the same opportunity that the law that the white man offers. And that's another fact. And that's another fact. We follow the white man and buy substitutes and remain inferior to him all the time. But all we have to do is trust God and stop letting white man and his establishment guide you into the secret knowledge. Trust God and God will bless your intellect. If you're good at heart, he will bless your intellect to see the light. And then there, pride, that glory, will appear to you as foolishness. And that's why God says in the Quran, what they're doing is nothing but sport and play. Game making. And in another place in the Quran, Allah says, and their meetings in secret, meetings that meaning that cult meetings, that meeting in secrecy is mostly for no good. Then God tells the believers that you are not permitted to have any secret meetings unless the purpose of it is to advance the good, righteousness and justice. You can't meet in no secret and secrecy to get over on somebody else. To have a strategy to get over on people? No. That's forbidden to Muslim. That's why here recently, the Supreme Council of Saudi Arabia put the Shriners out of Arabia. They're not there anymore. So you go on filling knuckles and talking your talking. and staying behind everybody else and watching the world leave you. We know where we are, we're going ahead. We have power. Yes, because we are with Allah. Because we are with the truth. We have power and protection of God. 